Welcome back. Now there's a bunch of cool little features that will show you at a glance lots of information about the appointments and also all the different things that we can show you on the calendar. Now firstly, a striped appointment is telling you that this appointment is penciled in and it isn't confirmed. A confirmed appointment will show with a solid block of colour. Once you arrive an appointment, which you can do by clicking on it and selecting Arrived, the sidebar will show with stripes and a little icon with an arrow will pop up over here on the top right hand side. This is really helpful when a receptionist wants to flag with a staff member that the customer has arrived and it's also really helpful when a customer is having different services with different staff members. If you completed the booking, a little tick will appear up here in the right hand corner and it will change to a lighter colour. There are quite a few different icons that we use throughout Timely, but for today's purpose, we just want to really focus on the main ones, the key icons that you will commonly see and refer to. So the first one is a speech bubble. Now this tells you that there's a booking note attached to the appointment and by clicking on the icon, you can view the note in the grey highlighted bar. This is different to a customer note and we'll talk about the difference in a little bit. A dollar note, this shows that a deposit has been paid against the appointment. A clear piece of paper, this indicates that there is an open invoice on the appointment. A piece of paper with a dollar sign, so this shows that the invoice for the service has been paid for. The other two ones that relate specifically to a customer rather than the actual booking are the star and the exclamation mark. The star relates to the VIP flag in the customer's profile, so it shows in the appointment to alert you that they are a VIP. The exclamation mark relates to an alert that has been set to the client profile. This may be an allergy or something you want all staff to be aware of with this client. If you click on the exclamation icon, it will also show the alert in a yellow highlighted box. This message will also continue to populate on the booking until it's removed. A cloud. So this indicates that there's an online booking. So if you want to read more about our icons and symbols in Timely, you can easily do this by looking through our help guide in our resource center. So you've seen as we've been moving around the calendar, pop-up box that appears on an appointment with some client details. But clients will have a much bigger profile and it's really important that you do know the difference between what a booking profile is and a customer profile. So you also know where to record certain information. The booking profile relates specifically to that booking and can be viewed by clicking on the appointment. If you select edit from here, an expanded view will appear where several tabs across the top will show. Now this is where you can add notes specific to that booking. This is also called a booking note as I mentioned previously when we were talking about icons. It will then show in the appointment pop-up highlighted in grey. It's a good way to record if that client has a special request for that service or something specific to today's visit such as running late. You can access from the booking file the history tab. This will give you a complete rundown of the booking from when it was made, if it was moved, any notifications that have gone out to the customer, and it will also give you the name of the staff member who made or moved the appointment. Now a customer profile holds a lot more information and if you click on the customer name where it appears in the booking pop-up, you will see their profile appears on the left-hand side. This gives you a snapshot of their profile, including main details, next appointment, past appointments and previous invoices. It will also show notes as well, which is really good if you want to quickly see details, such as what colour mix they had last time. And you can add notes here as well, which is a nice quick way to add any post-service details to remember next time. And then if you click on edit, a pop-up appears, which will allow you to expand on their personal details, add a profile photo, communication preferences, and everything else in between. Then if we select this view all customer details down the bottom here, it will bring up the full client profile. You can also get to this by just clicking their name in the side toolbar. This will give you all of the details on everything related to the client and their history with your business. 
It's also worth noting that this little tab up in the right hand corner called messages, this allows you to not only send an ad hoc message, but also view all message communication that you have had with that particular client, which is why we don't recommend deleting SMS replies from the main inbox. Now we all have those customers who make online bookings and never show. So you can discreetly block these customers from making an online booking by selecting this box here. It's a great way to ensure you're protecting your calendar and saving these times for clients who are really committed to coming in. Of course, these clients can still come in and see you. However, they will need to call you directly to make the booking. Now talking about making a booking, let's get stuck into this now. 